Hey YouTube, welcome back to the vlog and we're here in the shop and this week we're gonna look at some really awesome things being laid, things hatching, the normal, but then we're gonna focus in on a couple projects I really love, which is the monsoon project, the white lace, and maybe a combination of the two. So let's jump in. Hey everybody, it's summer. I was just in the incubator checking on the status of some of these clutches and I saw that this clutch right here, we have some babies crawling out. Let's take a look. So this was from a leopard blackhead Mojave hypo black exanthic het pied male to a black ghost, which is another name for hypo black exanthic female. So really awesome clutch because we know that since we have double visual on both sides of the pairing, we're gonna end up with all double visual babies. Plus we have the chance to kind of recreate the father and get some of those really nice and complete dominance in. And guys, it's really hard to overstate how pretty these babies are. This project just never fails to disappoint. When you have anything exanthic really, it's gonna take away that yellow and red pigmentation and give us a more grayscale look. And then when you add in hypo, of course, we're taking away all the blacks. So we get this really awesome frosty gray ghostly appearance. Adding in stuff like leopard and Mojave and blackhead. This animal, I believe, has all three. This would be a leopard blackhead Mojave. So he is just like the dad. Hypo black exanthic. You can see how it just adds some really, really cool characteristics to the snake, really opening up that pattern, giving us those little tiny squiggly lines and a nice back stripe. Even the ones that don't have all three of the incomplete dominance are super gorgeous too. I love the Mojave influence there, really making those alien heads float. And this is just such a fun, fun project. I'm super excited to see the rest of this. We have one more baby waiting to come out. He's taken his time, but he'll be out soon. And then of course, they're also possible het pied. So since the dad was het pied, on average, 50% of these will be also het pied. So I'm sure we're gonna be shed testing them to figure out which ones are for sure. And that's really exciting to get this into a pied where we have this kind of awesome pattern broken up with some pure white. That would be amazing. All right, guys, really big ovulation from this girl. She is a GHI red stripe and she is double het monsoon clown. We've bred her to a couple different males. It's always cool to see actually catch these ovulations because you know they don't stay this way for long in terms of this big kind of swelled up look, but they do for about a day, day and a half. So when we do catch it, it's always kind of cool to see. So we'll be expecting some eggs from her in, you know, the next couple months, um, one or two months here, and we will uh, hopefully be getting them from maybe this GHI yellow belly het monsoon clown. That would be cool because then we could get visual super GHI monsoon clowns that are also red stripe and yellow belly, but all these options are pretty good. So I don't know. That's the one that's exciting to me, but cool to see this girl all swelled up. All right, guys. So we have an awesome clutch to set up. It's a lace het hypo DG clown, and I bred her with the black pastel yellow belly lace DG het hypo clown. So we have a chance to hit white lace DG hypo clowns. See, she's nice and calm coming out of the box and doesn't beat that. So she must have laid these overnight because they're a little stuck onto each other. And when you run into that, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to force it. So just be really gentle as you go so you don't tear any eggs. Um, but we've definitely accidentally done that before. And the nice thing is these eggs are really hardy and they self seal a lot. Tim doesn't beat that. I'm going to have to go get a second egg box. All right, so amazing timing. We're here filming the vlog and we just got this box in from Johnny and Brittany Gobbles of Gobbles Reptiles. And we were just opening them up. We got 1.3 of a project that I'm in love with and super excited about. So thankful that they did the pairing to make this because sometimes it's exhausting trying to do all the pairings yourself. So sometimes you can rely on some friends to make some insane animals. This is an Enchi Asphalt Pet Monsoon. And they did a pairing of a Inchi Super Asphalt to a Calico Monsoon and got these amazing babies. You know, I bought 1.3 of them because I love a good group. I'm just sure this is gonna be a really great project because Inchi is one of the best genes, it seems like, for Monsoon so far. Who knows what a Super Asphalt or Freeway Monsoon will look like? I wanna find out. So these are amazing. Thank you so much, Johnny and Brittany, for hooking me up with this insane group.
Okay, so I wanna show you some amazing white laces, but just to transition a little bit, we just made our first clutch of lace het monsoon. So it actually is double het monsoon clam. So let's check this out. So this animal is essentially almost identical to the ones we just showed you from the gobbles. We made this, it's inchy yellow belly instead of asphalt, and it's lace and double het monsoon clown. So to make this, we bred a one of our beautiful, beautiful lace clowns to a visual monsoon. And so this girl is our start towards that lace monsoon project and lace monsoon clown project so look how much brighter this is the combo is almost identical of course it's asphalt versus yellow belly but look how much cleaner the lace makes it and just better more vibrant colors and that's what lace does and the best example of what lace does is to show you the super forms so let's check those out so this is a white lace clown clutch we hatched about a month ago or so and we had not shown them because they're colored up so much we always want to show them their full beauty so this is inchy spot nose lace and it's so so beautiful and so bright. If you've been watching our channel for a long time, remember the original snorkel snake we made was an inchy spot nose because of the little snorkel pattern there on the back of the head. It looks like a, a uh, scuba mask. It's super neat. And then we have the white lace version. So inchy spot nose white lace clown. And I'm gonna get bit here. If I can avoid it, it'll be a miracle. But look how bright and beautiful it is. The white lace is just like a visual desert ghost, only it just leaves, in my opinion, better contrast and better saturation than the desert ghost does. Look at those beautiful, beautiful sides. All that checkering and just edging and everything coming up the side there from the white lace. And this snake is phenomenally better than when it hatched and it is just in the middle of its transformation. As an adult, we, I don't even know what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look absolutely insane like the adult white lace clowns we have. So we have one more combo to show you from this clutch. Here's the star of the clutch and this one was actually way better than I even expected. This is the spot nose yellow belly white lace clown. Now it's missing the inch so it has a kind of the doesn't have the snorkel pattern in the head, but without the inchy reducing the pattern, you get these beautiful, really blown up yellow belly spot nose sides, which has been a key to so many combos, including the Pompeii. There's beautiful, beautiful sides. Now the lace and the white lace take those sides to another level because they bring that pattern, bring those that spotting way, way up the sides. It just makes an incredible effect. And then a pure, pure belly that's like piebald white. And I just love the look of this. I love how beautiful and clean it is. This is another girl, it seems like almost every white lace clown we've made has been a girl, but I don't even mind because I love watching them grow up and I can't wait to put these into some brand new stuff with some of our best males down the road. Okay, just a little bit of bonus content before these two end up going to South Korea here and Thailand later um, next month. This is a inchy lace desert ghost and the inchy yellow belly lace desert ghost. And I'm gonna be really sad to see these go. It's such a great project to combine lace and DG and just look how pure and clean the color is on these. I know our friend Seaman over at Finest Pythons and Court from Snowball Reptiles are gonna be doing some amazing things with these. That's what makes it tolerable to sometimes let these amazing animals go. You get to see the insane projects they get put into and they're amazing grand pavies down the road. All right, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. And let me know if you like the Lace Project, the Monsoon Project, where you would take them in the future because we're all ears. We love this industry. We love learning new things and new combos as we go. So thanks for following along with us. Be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.